So in today's class, uh, we'll study about this uh, cap theorem, right? Uh, so the cap theorem is also known as uh, Brewer's theorem, right? So it states that uh, it is impossible for a distributed data store to offer more than two of the three guarantees, right? So it is difficult to achieve uh, two of the three guarantees, namely con consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. So you all know the definition for uh, consistent, right? So you know how uh, a data looks consistent, right? So the data should remain consistent even after the execution of any operation. This means that uh, once a data is written, any future read request should contain that data. Right. So, for example, after updating the order status, all the clients should be able to see the same data. Right. So, if you have an uh, online store where the number of products available is maybe some five or something for a particular uh, item code. Right. Uh, so, all the users should be able to see the same data. Right. So, when someone buys the product, the item count gets decreased and uh, all the users should be able to see the same data. That's meant by uh, consistency. So again, availability means uh, the database should always be available and responsive. It should not have any downtime, right? So in a conventional database system, you can have some downtime, whereas in the case of uh, uh, NoSQL databases, we need to guarantee availability. Since data is spread across multiple uh, nodes, even if one node fails, You'll be able to retrieve the data from other node so so the database is always available and responsive it does not have any downtime so partition tolerance right so partition tolerance means the system should continue to function even if the communication among the server is not stable right so for example the servers can be partitioned into multiple groups which may not communicate with each other Right. However, if even if a part of the database is unavailable, other parts are always unaffected. Right. So we'll duplicate the data blocks across uh, multiple uh, nodes in a network. So even if one node breaks down or if one node is not available, other parts are unaffected. So the system continues to function even if the communication among the servers is not stable, right? So based on this cap theorem, uh, we have this uh, properties for NoSQL systems, right? So RDMMS, Relational Database Management System, uh, you know these properties, right? Atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. So these are the gold standards for uh, uh, Relational Database Management System. So similar to acid properties in uh, uh, relational DBMS, uh, we have this uh, base properties in uh, NoSQL uh, systems. So the base properties means uh, basically available, soft state, eventually consistent, right? So basically available means uh, the system should be always available. Uh, the database should, should be uh, uh, the database should be always available. It should be responsive. Right. So basically available uh, soft state and eventual consistency. So basically available means uh, database is available at all the time as per the cap theorem. So database should be available at 24 cross 7 and it should be responsive. It means that uh, it follows the property of uh, basically available. Right. So soft state means uh, even without an input, uh, the system state may change, right? So even with, without some input, uh, the system can uh, change the state. And finally, eventual uh, consistency means uh, the system will become consistent over a period of time, right? So it may look like the system is inconsistent. Over a period of time, it's known as eventual consistency. Right. So, so eventual consistency, the term uh, eventual uh, consistency means uh, copies of the data is available across uh, multiple machines to ensure scalability and availability. 
Hence, uh, changes made to any data item in one machine has to be propagated to other replicas, right? To ensure the property of uh, availability and uh, scalability. So what you do is that uh, duplicate copies of the same blocks of data may be available in more than one machine. Again, uh, whenever you make any uh, changes to any data item in one machine, the changes has to be propagated to other replica. Right, so data replication may not be uh, instantaneous as uh, some copies will be updated immediately while the others will be upda updated in a due course of time. Right, so these copies may mutually uh, in turn become uh, consistent, hence the name uh, eventual consistency. Right, so these are the properties of NoSQL databases. Right, so basically available soft state so soft state means the system can change from one state to another uh, without any input and eventual consistency means uh, the system becomes uh, consistent over a period of time right so multiple uh, copies of the same uh, blocks of data may be av available across multiple machines to ensure availability and uh, scalability right so whenever you update your uh, data block uh, the changes has to be uh, propagated to other uh, replicas so the other rep replicas may not be updated uh, simultaneously but it may be updated over a period of time right so the copies may be uh, updated in a period of time and they become uh, consistent hence the name uh, eventual consistency right so these are the properties of no sql databases base property basically available soft state and uh, eventual consistency.